one thing and then we're also going to talk a little bit about blocks and how blocks work. So uh, right now I've got LibreCAD pulled up and uh, right now it's a blank drawing. However I've actually loaded up a bunch of other drawings so we're going to restore down is what they call this and we're actually going to delete that drawing and we're going to pull up the very first one I want to show you. And that's this one here and we use the expand button and then we will zoom to full screen okay this looks like the drawing from hell but it's uh, actually going to be very helpful to you and it was helpful to me what I did was I created a drawing an outside box that was eight and a half by eleven which is standard size for a letter letter paper in a US of A and so that's eight and a half inches by eleven inches and uh, then what I did was every eighth of an inch I made a line and what I did was to do that let me show you that function real quick uh, line and when you do this make lines parallel you see this number right here where it says number you can make a whole bunch of lines in parallel with each other that way. We're not going to do it now, so I'm going to exit out of this. But that's the way I created those. So I've got, I know that the uh, printer is not going to print at 8.5 by 11, but I want to find out how far the margins are on the printer. And that will change from printer to printer. Uh, none of them will go all the way out, but different ones will do different amounts. So this drawing, which is called Print Test, will be available for your upload. Uh, it'll be available on the uh, website, and this will save you a lot of work that, that I've done for you. Okay, I also created the letters T, R, L, and B for top, right, left, and bottom, so I would know what the orientation was when I looked at this thing. And then I also created a whole bunch of lines in here, and those are all... Of variable widths and you notice that they're all on level zero but they still you can change each and every one of them by a as a separate level if, for instance if I go in here to modify and we pick one of these you see that I, I could change its width to whatever I wanted to and still leave it on the same level and that's what I did uh, so let's undo that. So now nothing selected. So what I did was, after I did that, I went and did a print preview. I printed it one to one. That put it to the very edges of the paper, and I went ahead and sent it through the printer. What I got back was the uh, only three lines printed on the top. Seven of them printed over here, so I only lost an eighth of an inch on that side. Six of them printed over here, so I lost a quarter inch on this side. Five of them printed here, so I lost uh, about uh, three-eighths of an inch on that side. But what I did to make everything symmetric... I deleted the top, the bottom two lines off the top, and I deleted all of them except to the third line there on the top. Over here, I deleted all of them except except the uh, second line. Sorry, except the sixth line, all the way over to number six, and then I deleted the other two. Same thing here. I deleted the same as what I did on the top, even though I could have went further. I wanted to keep it all symmetric. So in other words, I deleted it up to the very first line I could see. 
And what I ended up, and then I, after seeing all these lines printed, I didn't need that information anymore, so I deleted all of that out of there. So what I ended up with, because we don't want to go through the trouble of me doing that right now, uh, we won't have enough time on our YouTube video anyhow. Uh, what I ended up with after doing that was this drawing right here. And uh, what I did was I made those lines that I kept, I made those green, and I made them fairly thick. The border here is uh, 0.5 millimeters wide, so that's a fairly wide line. And then I left about a half an inch on each of these corner pieces here and called those tick marks. And you'll see why those are useful in a minute. Okay. Then what I did was I created that into a block. And uh, I'll show you how that's done. First, since it's already a block, I'm going to uh, have to explode it. So I explode that. And now I can go ahead and delete this block. Okay, let's say I wanted to make it two times as big. As a matter of fact, let's do that. We will not mess with this drawing, but we will go ahead and we will do a scale function, which is right here. We're going to select everything on this. We will scale it. So now it asks me, whoops select everything and now we're going to select the reference point which would be this bottom corner and now we're going I thought I selected that and I'm gonna make it two times as big now zoom back out doesn't look a whole lot different but it's twice as big and now I'm going to make that a block so we'll do a create block. We're going to select everything. Okay, and then it says what's the reference point. We'll set the reference point to the bottom corner. And we'll call this portrait P border X2 because it's two times the size. Okay, we've now created a block. I want to save this as a new drawing, so I'll do a file save as. We'll call it P border X2, and we've saved it. Okay, I'll show you how that's being used. Now, I also could have done the same thing. I could have rotated it by 90 degrees, and actually I did that so I would have it in landscape mode. So it would work exactly the same way, and then I saved a border as that. We've already done that, so now I'm going to shrink this drawing back down, and we're going to get rid of some stuff out of here so I don't mess up. <laughs> so we're done with print test, and we're done with a P border, so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and uh, get those out of the program. Okay. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put a border around uh, the part that we've created in the last one, the one that we printed out last time, but this time we're going to do it with a border. So I'm going to open up this border that I call L Border X2. That stands for Landscape Border uh, at times 2 scale. And you see that it's already a block. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to copy using the copy paste function. And I select the object and it's, since it's a block I can select it anywhere. It's now going to ask me where my reference point is and I'm going to make it that bottom corner. Okay, it is now on the, the uh, 
clipboard. So now we will close this drawing. We'll open up our drawing that we've been working with. We'll zoom it full and then we'll have to zoom it out a little bit. And now we are going to use our clipboard and paste the drawing that we just did. And I need to put it in free positioning. And you can see basically that border coming up here. We'll paste that. And we now have a border around our drawing. We could have even had that with a title block here or at least a scale block that says two inch, one inch equals two inches or two inches equals one inch. I forget how you write that. Uh, but anyhow, we now have a scale block. We now have a title block around it, a border. So now, if we were going to print this thing, let's go up here and do a print preview. First of all, we'll make it black and white. And I'm going to go to uh, 1 inch equals 2 inches. You see that those little tick marks are sitting right on the corner. And I have a border around this and I know that everything that's within that border is going to print. So there's no question there about this radius or ream comment going out over top of the uh, area that print. So now if I hit print I know it's going to work. Uh, we already set the uh, thicknesses on all of our lines last time and then I've set the thickness of this border so it should make a nice drawing when we print. So pretty much that's the way to use blocks and that's also the way to have a border so you know what's going to print and what's not. So it's kind of an advanced printing class here, tutorial this time. Uh, hopefully I've made this clear. I went through it really quick. Uh, didn't want to be fighting the computer a whole lot here. Uh, and wanted to keep it simple as I can. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact me through the website. But uh, I think this should pretty much help you out. I believe this is the last tutorial for a while. So uh, thank you for listening. The uh, test print drawing, the way to access that will be in the uh, video notes. Appreciate you listening. This is Gary Fox. Thank you.